Edinburgh has been the Scottish capital since the 15th century. It has two distinct areas, the Old Town, which is dominated by a medieval fortress, and the neoclassical New Town, whose development from the 18th century onwards, had a far-reaching influence on European urban planning. The harmonious juxtaposition of these two contrasting historic areas, each with many important buildings, is what gives the city its unique character. The old town stretches along a high ridge, from the castle on its dramatically situated rock, down to the palace of Holyrood. It contains many 16th and 17th century merchants and nobles houses, such as the mansion house of Gladstone's Land, which rises to six stories, and important early public buildings, such as the Cannon Gate Tollbooth and St. Giles Cathedral. The new town, constructed between 1767 and 1890 as a collection of seven new towns, on the glacial plain to the north of the old town, is framed and articulated by an uncommonly high concentration of planned ensembles of ashlar-faced, world-class, neoclassical buildings. Some of the finest public and commercial monuments of the new classical revival in Europe survive in the city, reflecting its continuing status as the capital of Scotland since 1437, and a major centre of thought and learning in the 18th century age of enlightenment, with its close cultural and political links with mainland Europe. The successive planned extensions from the first new town, and the high quality of the architecture, set standards for Scotland and beyond, and exerted a major influence on the development of urban architecture and town planning throughout Europe.